Hey guys, Scott back again with a new beer dissection video. Got a nice treat here, um, thanks to a friend and a co collaboration between my wife, a friend who loves IPAs. Um, what I have today is from Equilibrium Brewing Company, okay, in Middletown, New York. Um, they're very famous for their IPAs. They brew a lot of other beers too, I think some porters and stouts and stuff like that. Um, I've had beers from them before, I've never had this one. This is called the Ghost in the laboratory, okay? It's their double India Pale Ale at 8.5% alcohol, so it's gonna be a doozy here. Um, actually, it's Parish Brewing Company. I, I said e Equilibrium, that's weird, I didn't realize that. I'm looking at this, it says Parish Brewing Company, and also has Equilibrium Brewing Company. So, uh, maybe if you're watching this, so you can clarify it, great. If not, it's not a huge deal. Um, just thought I would be, uh, be interested. It was funny. My son had a lacrosse tournament in Middletown, New York. I should have sent them over to get me some more of these beers. Uh, I've had Equilibrium before. Um, great memories of it. Definitely not have had this one. Uh, and that's pretty much it. They are pretty famous for their IPAs, like I said, to lead off, um, like Treehouse and some of the other, um, you know, famous New England breweries, as well as just the Northeast in general. Um, so I think I gave you all the main specs on this. Um, uh, again, I'm still got to figure out why it says Parish Brewing Company and also Equilibrium Brewing Company. Maybe there's there's a sister brewery involved with it. Okay. Um, so anyway, let's get going right into this. So let me show you it on the can. I'm sure I'll have pictures of it popping up. Okay, so I'm presuming this is going to drink and look like a hazy, okay, like a hazy New England IPA. Um, it doesn't have to be. It says double IPA, but, you know, West Coast IPA styles can also be brewed that way. Um, this was canned on June 20th of 23, which I definitely do. If you haven't watched all my videos, recommend you... Um, you know, look, checking for, especially with these IPAs for oxidation and things like that to prevent uh, purchasing beers that are not, um, you know, in line with that. So anyway, guys, let's take a look at this one. Okay, definitely a classic looking hazy. We got a quarter of an inch of white, pretty dense head, um, pretty well supportive. I'm not going to tip the glass completely. You do have that classic opaque it's kind of like a darker straw to light gold color. Um, you know, a lot of these, remember, they, a lot of times we'll use oats for the mouthfeel as well as uh, unmalt, unmalted wheat, which has more proteins in it. It contributes to the haziness and the cloudiness, just like the polyphenols from the hops and the hop matter and things like that. So it, it creates that. So this murky looking uh, opaqueness, cloudiness is normal. Okay, but it looks very good for a New England IPA, hazy IPA. Can't really, it's not a complaint, it's just kind of an observation, but it is aligned with most of them. Now, if you saw this looking brown or turning kind of like a grayish brown, then probably you're getting some oxidation. Okay, but let's take a sniff of the aroma. Oh, wow, really nice. Like mango, it kind of hits you. I get mango was the first impression I got when I took a sniff. So it's kind of tropical fruit, mango. So you get that mango, tropical fruit, a little pineapple, but I think I get the, the mango. Maybe even some stone fruit like peach, uh, slight orange apricot. But all overall, very good. It smells really good. Um, the malt on, you know, these New England hazy IPAs are usually pretty neutral. They're going to have like that white bread, doughy type of uh, aroma. Okay, and pretty standard here too. So, cheers. Wow. Same thing. Peach, mango, or, or other, your choice of tropical fruit there. Pretty high carbonation. The mouthfeel is is moderate to full um, because I think the oats that they're using, you know, contributes to that. So you kind of have a little bit more of a full bodied on this. Um, so it's drinking a little bit more like a, a true ju juice if you are having like fresh 
squeezed grapefruit juice and or any juices thrown together. Um, so that's why the mouth feel is a little bit heavier. I don't get any alcoholic warmth. I usually would get it, maybe a touch. I'm now that I took that second sip, uh, but not astringent, not solventy, which is really good. Um, this is excellent. Um, but even on the mall on, on the flavor, same thing. That bread doughy, you know, white bread, maybe water cracker at the at the very most. Um, but it is more of a juice bomb here. Um, you're dealing with the, again that peach, the mango, a little bit of grapefruit, pretty full mouthfeel. Like even though I said you know medium to full bodied, it is pretty hefty and thick. Like I'm drinking a uh, imperial stout. Um, Carbonation, again, like I said, is definitely um, on the moderate to high side. A little bit higher than I, I usually get with these juices, which is fine because I actually like it because I feel sometimes when it has a little bit of a heavier mouthfeel and, um, you know, with oats and the thicker mouthfeel, the carbonation seems to, you know, cut through it a little bit. But really good, guys. Excellent. Grade-wise... Really can't go much, can't, really can't shy away from that AA plus range, um, which is what they're really known for with these IPAs. I don't really see any oxidative problems with this beer like I've had on a recent beer that I reviewed. Um, if you like that fruit bomb of a little grapefruit, peach, mango, tropical fruit, with a little bit of that mouth feel, that little heavier body, this beer is right up your alley. Um, it's not as thin as some other commercial varieties that I've had. Um, pairing with this, like I do with a lot of my IPAs, but especially my New England IPAs and juicy IPAs. Um, I, I like to always put this with spicy food. Um, even though IPAs will increase the spicy level, the hotness level, it will contribute almost like if you were thinking of like a mango, salsa, grapefruit, citrus type of thing. Um, bitterness on this. Surprising comment. Actually kind of moderate, you know, maybe pronounced at the very most, but, you know, New England IPAs, remember, are going to be on the lower on the bitterness side versus, say, your West Coast IPA. Um, drinking really nice, though. Um, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm just trying to think of any other descriptors for this. Um, on the aftertaste, I do not get that vegetative quality, which I did just a, a beer the other day that had that. Uh, and the hops are usually aging out. This does not do that at all. Um, and it was only canned, I think, in June, I said. Um, I'm filming this in middle of July, so it is very fresh. Um, so anyway, guys, Equilibrium Brewing Company via Parish Brewing Company. I don't know the two differences. But Ghost in the Laboratory, 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 Double India Pale Ale or Double IPA. I'm sure I'm going to have pictures of this popping over my shoulder. Highly recommend it. Um, one of the best I've had over the last uh, couple of months. Um, the last few days, I've had other beers um, from that buddy I told you about, as well as my wife picked up, that um, were really exceptional uh, IPAs. And they're going to be under the what is, uh, not the what is style, the beer dissection style. So anyway, guys. The new, today's beer dissection was from Equilibrium, Ghost and Laboratory, IPA, double IPA. Um, highly recommended. Um, and that's it. Until the next beer video, guys, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.